خيّا ورتّل القرآن اصبح بصوتك اسمع الأكوان اقرأ كلام الله داوي نفوسنا لنحس في أعماقنا أعماقنا الإيمان فإذا وعى القرآن حين لا 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 فؤاد كالحجارة مسوة فإذا وعى القرآن حين لا السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ May peace, blessings and mercy of Allah be on all of you We welcome all the brothers and sisters here today as well as the millions watching this program on television the world over live through the Peace TV broadcast to this second day of the 10-day international Islamic conference and exhibition on peace, the solution for humanity. We begin today's program with the Karat by Aqari Sheikh Hassan Ali Merhab from Lebanon. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وكذلك أوحينا إليك قرآنا عربيا قرآنا عربيا لتنذر أم القرى ومن حولها لتنذر أم القرى ومن حولها وتنذر يوم الجمع لا ريب فيه فريق في الجنة وفريق في السعيد ولو شاء والظالمون ما لهم من ولي ولا 
نصير أم اتخذوا من دونه شرع لكم من الدين ما وصى به نوحا والذي أوحينا إليك
والذي أوحينا إليك وما وصينا أن أقيم الدين ولا تتفرقوا فيه كبر على المشركين ما تدعوهم إليه الله يجتبي إليه من يشاء الله يجتبي إليه من يشاء ويهدي إليه من ينيب صدق الله العظيم اقرأ ورتل القرآن ويهدي إليه من ينيب الله يجتبي ويهدي إليه من ينيب صدق الله العظيم جزاك الله for the fine kirat by Sheikh Hassan Ali Marhab from Lebanon. Now we begin our formal program. On behalf of the Islamic Research Foundation, I, Dr. Muhammad Naik, am your host for today evening's program. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to today's program. The speaker for the evening needs no introduction. Yet, I will give you a brief background on this man. The man who has left many speechless and spellbound. By the way of his presentation of Islam in the light of the Holy Quran, Hadith and other religious scriptures as a basis in conjunction with reason, logic and scientific facts. He realized that being a medical doctor might not be the cure to all human sufferings as they usually generate in one's mind. The mind that thinks, the mind that reasons, asks questions and generates doubts. Hence he started to question this unsatisfied mind and started to generate answers from the resources available from the worldly knowledge as well as from the divine knowledge available to him. He is popular for his critical analysis and convincing answers to challenging questions posed by audiences after his public talks. In the last 11 years till 2007, Dr. Zakir Naik has delivered 
more than 1,000 public talks in the USA, Canada, UK, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Kuwait, Singapore, Hong Kong, Thailand, Guyana, South America, Qatar, Bahrain, South Africa, Mauritius, Australia, Malaysia, and many other countries. In addition to numerous public talks in India, of course. When it comes to a dialogue in comparative religion, no one has the metal to stand against him. Dr. William Campbell of USA has seen it during the dialogue on the topic, the Quran and the Bible in the light of science on April 1st, 2000. His public dialogue with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar on the topic, the concept of God in Hinduism and Islam in the light of sacred scriptures held in the city of Bangalore, India on January 1st, 2006 was a grand success in highlighting the oneness and unity of God. In May 2000, so much so, Sheikh Ahmad Didat, may Allah's mercy be on him, said, Son, what you have achieved in four years had taken me 40 years to accomplish, alhamdulillah. His pursuit to spread the message of Allah gave birth to the now increasingly popular TV channel, Peace TV. This grand event you are witnessing today may seem huge to you, but it's just a small step for him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lead his way and grant him the ability to spread God's message to mankind further. To speak on today, this very vital topic perplexing the mind of many non-Muslims and having a lot of faith in the minds of Muslims but awaiting for some a little bit more conviction. This topic is the Quran God's word will be handled today by our speaker and of course it will be as usual be followed by the open question and answer session. Brothers and sisters please welcome Dr. Zakir Naik. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam. Al Rasulillah wa ala ali wa sabi ajmain. Amma abad. Aouzu billahi minish shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Afalai the dabburun al Quran. Walau kana min indi gerilla. Labujudu fik talafan kasira. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sanurihim ayatina fila fakhi. Wafi anfusihim. Hatta yatabayyana lom anna ul haq. Awalam yakfi birabbika. Anna wala kulli shayin shaheed. Rabbish Ali Sadri. Wa yasilli amri. Wahlul ugdata min lesani yafka hukawli. My respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you. The topic of this evening's talk of mine is, is the Quran God's word? Many people have a misconception that Islam is a new religion that came into existence 1400 years ago and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the founder of this religion. In fact, Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on this earth. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of this religion, but he is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, to whom was revealed the last and final message, the glorious Quran. All the messengers that came 
before the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him they were only sent for a particular group of people and this message was supposed to be followed only by that group of people for a limited time period since all the other revelations were meant only for a particular group of people and was meant for a particular time period the miracles performed by the earlier messengers by the earlier prophets for example the parting of the sea giving life to the dead it satisfied the people of that time but today we cannot go back in time to examine these miracles to verify these miracles but prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he was not sent only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs the glorious Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107. That we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity, as a mercy to all the worlds. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not sent only for the Muslims and the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole of humanity, and he was the last messenger, the miracle that was given to him is not time bound the miracle that was given to him should satisfy the people at that time even today as well as till eternity since he is the last messenger that's the reason the miracle given to him should satisfy and be examinable till eternity Though Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he has done and performed hundreds of miracles. But he never emphasized them. And we Muslims, we mainly boast of his ultimate miracle. That is the glorious Quran. Which is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it is a miracle of all times. It could satisfy the people of that time. It can even satisfy today until the last day. It could be verified and examined that time. It can even be verified today. And inshallah, it can be verified and examined even till the last day. That's the reason it is the miracle of miracles. لنحس في أعماقنا أعماقنا الإيمان كم من فؤاد كالحجارة قسوة فإذا وعى القرآن